to my channel if you're new my name's chloe subscribe for hauls and vlogs this is miley my cat i thought i'd start a little vlog today i've got saturday sunday and tuesday off i've had quite an early morning this morning because we have someone coming around to do some more work in the garden um but i've had a nice chill start to my day i had a cup of tea and watched Broken Tate's new Disneyland Paris vlog, which is really good. Um, so, plan for today is actually doing a bit of decorating in the house. Um, if you don't know, me and James bought our house about four years ago and we renovated it, which I documented. I did some like updated house tours, um, so I'll leave those linked below. Um, if you have a house, you'll probably know that there's always stuff to do, there's always something. But yeah, a couple of months ago, I worked with Lick Paint on a collaboration and I was able to choose some paints for free so I chose a blush pink and a kind of light beige so the plan is in the bathroom our colour scheme is kind of like grey white and more recently we've added beige I wanted it to be like a nice neutral relaxing space um, so I'm going to do a half wall we've got like a rattan kind of boho shelf on the wall and just under it I want to do a line um, and do like a half wall from the bottom to halfway in the beige and then in the bedroom we've got a white wall where we've got some teal walls but there's one white wall in particular where we have some white drawers um, and it just looks really bland like just really boring and I want to jazz it up a little bit um I didn't really want to put pictures on the wall because the plan is to do a gallery wall um above the bed <laughs> I'm going to do kind of like a pink arch so a bit of a feature wall and then hopefully going to get a kind of rattan boho shelf thing for there as well because we've got a lot of kind of like Scandinavian boho elements to the bedroom and I was putting it off because one I just couldn't be bothered and two I've just been really tired and busy and just you know everything's been going on recently and the other thing is I was like how am I going to do an arch like I've seen videos where people use string and a pencil and I don't know and the half wall seems a lot easier because you just get tape and just make sure it's level um however I have an arch mirror on my landing and I thought perfect I'll just get that and I'll draw around it. See how we get on because I don't have any white paint and really you should, once you've taped off like the section, especially for the half wall, you should paint colour that's already on the wall. So for me it's white and then paint the new colour but I don't think I've got any white paint. So we'll see, it's an awful rainy day today. Yeah, the first thing I'm gonna do is just clean, declutter, organise the space. I'm gonna take everything out of the drawers, off the shelves in both the bedroom and the bathroom give it a good deep clean like the bathroom wall actually probably needs a good wipe down before i paint it <laughs> um and then i'm gonna start doing my little room makeover so that's the plan for today can't say what's going to be happening in the rest of the vlog because i literally do not know i think we were going to maybe go out like my mum and grandma today but as i said the weather's awful so i think i'm gonna tackle the house today and hopefully we'll be able to go out on tuesday so yeah that's the plan Luckily, this is an old top I've put on for painting because I'm absolutely covered in cat hair now. Aren't I? I love you. I love you. I've also got a hair fever. Thank you, Miley. Missy. Hello. For total transparency, this is what the bathroom looks like at the moment. It's a bit of a mess, so we need to tackle this first. And then the bedroom, which, dare I say, is actually worse. <laughs> this is actually all clean clothes that needs to be put away, but there's just stuff everywhere.
okay ignore the messy bun um good progress upstairs i have deep cleaned the bathroom and also cleaned the area of the bedroom that will be painting um i have also drawn around the arch mirror we have which was a bit of a struggle and um, we put it on top of the drawers and it was too high and took it off and it was too low so we've had to get something else to make it halfway drawn around that um so i'm basically ready to start painting the bedroom the bathroom i just need to draw a line and put the tape on i think i'm just going to freehand the bedroom wall because obviously i've already traced the shape of the arch um i mean i could probably tape the straight edges but yeah i think i'm just going to freehand it because it is obviously a lot smaller of a space um but i'm just about to make just some lunch i'm going to make toasties i'm going to watch some tv and then i'm going to go back up and yeah get painting Because it just turned 4pm I've had a little bit of a freshen up and got changed because James is going to the garage to get some oil for his car I thought I would take the opportunity and get him to drop me off at Matalan on the way so I'm gonna have a little browse there's only one thing I have my eye on and it is a shelf that I think will fit perfectly in the new pink arch that I've painted I've done the first coats in both rooms so I've still got another coat to do in a couple of hours um but yeah I'm gonna head to Matalan and see if I can find it if not it's available to order so not the end of the world but I thought I might as well go and have a look to see if it's in store and it means I can have a little look see at everything else so I'm gonna try not to buy anything because any extra money now for the next couple of months is literally going on holidays um but yeah, we'll see. Okay, it's a bit late now. I wasn't successful at Matalan, so I'm just going to have to order the shelf. However, they had so many nice summer clothing and like homeware bits in. I was really good though. I didn't get anything. Then I went to Farm Foods just to pick up a few bits. Came home, made tea. We had fish fingers, chips and peas. Um, very basic because it's food shop day tomorrow, so we've hardly got anything left. Um, however, to be honest, last night I went out for food with my work we went to the tapas bar and into a picture of the food and jess had a chinese so 
we had a nice meal yesterday. Anyway, it's now time to do the second coat of paint. So I'll show you how it looks now. I'm gonna do a second coat. I'm assuming that'll be enough. I'm not sure. So I think for the bedroom, I'll probably leave um like the big gap that we've got at the minute. I've moved the bed over, so I'll probably leave it just in case like tomorrow I wake up and I'm like, oh yeah, it needs another coat. Okay, so this is how the bathroom's looking. Obviously. The light isn't great, it's probably not doing it justice, so I will update you tomorrow as well. But I just really, really love this shade of beige. Um, it's kind of like the perfect tone, like it's not too dark, not too light, not too yellow, not too blue. Um, I think if I'd done the whole wall, it would have been too much because, you know, it's not the biggest room. I think because we've got a lot of white and the white tiles is, you know, quite bright and airy. But I think the whole wall would have been too dark so yeah i'm really pleased with it and i think what i'm gonna eventually do is get some pictures at either side of this cabinet as well i think that'll look really nice especially now that i've got a half wall like when you put it up and there's a little gap i think that'll look good um so yeah and then this is my little arch it's a bit patchy this one because this is a matte paint whereas the other one's like a the opposite of matte <laughs> i can't remember what it's called um i will leave the colors linked below if you're interested so i've managed to freehand the arch which wasn't too bad and i've just put tape on the straight side um but yeah i really love this shade it's like the perfect blush pink to go on my cushions and the pink that's on the curtains and it just brings the colour scheme of the room together um, and like I said I think it'll look really nice with a little shelf in the middle. Painting is complete. I forgot how tiring decorating the house is. Honestly like every part of my body hurts. <laughs> um, all I've got left to do is take off the tape. So the bedroom and landing is an absolute tip because obviously I had to move so much stuff and obviously completely emptied the bathroom to deep clean and um, so tomorrow at least it gives me a chance to declutter before i put everything back so i am looking forward to that um but i'm now just going to chill on the sofa for a bit and have a cup of tea have some biscuits maybe watch a bit of youtube i've been watching a lot of broken tape recently and if i'm honest i really want to go to disneyland again <laughs> um it wasn't in the plan to go next year. We're going on a two-week cruise next October. And yeah, it just wasn't on the cards. I was thinking maybe 2026, not 2025. But after watching her videos, I just, I need to go. I need to go back. So we are looking, looking at maybe going in March to the Marvel Hotel, going by the Eurostar, going for three nights again but obviously going by Eurostar as opposed to coach would mean we have four days to actually enjoy the park as opposed to just the two so we'll see but everyone pray and crush your fingers for me because I really really want to go so yeah <laughs> I'm probably gonna just look at Disney vlogs and stuff tonight and wish I was there morning it is now sunday um it's about 20 to 10 and i've done some washing up done some laundry and i've already cried today because macy went out in the garden and started chewing the new wood that we've paid to get put on the top of the walls it's only a tiny bit but like you know when you're just so frustrated you cry 
anyway <laughs> um also my body's aching from painting yesterday so i'm just gonna potter around the house and just do what i can today not gonna push myself too much um i've obviously got all the stuff to sort out to go back into the bathroom so i will show you what the wall looks like now i put a few nice bits back in the bathroom to get some nice pictures got to go food shopping we need to get some pet food and just basically a normal sunday getting the house sorted and getting ready to go back to work tomorrow but i'm really glad that i'm off on tuesday i'm gonna get my nails done go out with my mum and grandma and yeah i'm gonna have a nice day on tuesday as well so i will include that into this video so yeah that's the plan let's get on with the day and hopefully i don't cry anymore <laughs> Okay, I'm in the process of sorting everything out. I've put all of my face masks in here. This um, little shelf unit thing, I store all of the kind of shampoo and shower products that we're currently using. So obviously we've got spares in the cupboards. So a few like shower gels, my shampoo and conditioner, a few bits that James is using. And then this is how we're looking in this cupboard. So this is spare shower products. I've still got quite a few shower gels on the floor to put in. These are like spare random bits bath stuff and then these are tans and body moisturizers and then up in here we've got a few of james's things well i've put the little toy story shampoo um what is that is that a conditioner yeah from disneyland paris because we obviously brought them home we've never used them and to be honest i think i'm just going to leave them on display there for the foreseeable future um and then i've got my cleansers some of them are looking a little bit grubby and need a clean a few other bits there uh, i've got some cotton buds in that little um like plastic container i'm taking out any skincare products that aren't like cleansers because i do the rest of my skincare in my office and i've got quite a lot of cleansers that i opened and used maybe once or twice when i got them um as pr and then I've just not got around to using them because I obviously have quite a lot. So any spare bits, I'm going to leave in a basket for my sister Jess to look through and my friend Christy. Um, because obviously things like this, I can't donate to charity because they've literally been opened and used. But um, obviously friends or family can have them. So this is my little pink arch. I'm honestly so chuffed with this. Obviously, I am getting a little shelf that's going to go there. And any little trinkets will probably go on the shelf. And I'll just leave the bigger items on here because this does get very cluttered. Also, <laughs> you might be wondering what this is. Well, last night, <laughs> my plant fell over on the floor. And yeah, there's soil everywhere. Um, she was tipping over she's completely yeah I, I don't know if there's any save in that I'm not gonna lie so I need to hoover that up um but yeah I'm really impressed with this and I just think it brings the color scheme really well together I often have a mustard yellow duvet um on the bed and obviously I've got the teal wall so just having this pop of pink um I think it's quite subtle but I just think it's really cute and it matches my curtains quite well i don't know if you can see they've got like little um semicircles and yeah i just think it looks really cute and really colorful and i also feel like this will be such a cute area to do outfit reels because i want to do a lot more fashion content but i don't really have a good space for it and i thought if i push the bed over like this is pushed a, quite a bit over it could probably go more and um, if i push the bed over i could easily set up a camera and have this as a cute little backdrop so yeah hi baby hello she doesn't trust me because last week i put a flea treatment on so she thinks i'm doing that again okay so the next thing i'm gonna do oh my god this is so bad i'm gonna sort through these two drawers which are absolutely rammed of just rubbish and what i want to do is i want this to be the travel drawer to have some things that's kind of already in to be honest travel bits minis um not passports because i want to keep them somewhere more safe but travel plugs just anything travel related in here so that i know where it is and this drawer i want to be deodorants and body sprays in it i put them in the bathroom but they just get lost amongst everything else and usually we get changed in the bedroom anyway um because obviously we've got the wardrobe on the right of us here so i'm gonna yeah take all of this out and just leave deodorants and body sprays so yeah bathroom's almost done i've still got the two drawers that i mentioned to do but i think i'm gonna get ready because james has took macy for a walk and when he gets back we're gonna go to the pet shop so i'm gonna get ready so that as soon as he 
gets back we can go and then obviously still got the food shop to do but really want to tack up bedroom i need to take some washing out of the washing machine and put that on the line uh but yeah i'm feeling a bit better now because obviously as i said i had a bit of a meltdown this morning i feel feel a little bit better just realized i've got paint in my hair typical um i normally wash my hair on a sunday morning however I need to go for a run today and last week I did it on the morning and felt so much better getting it out the way and then it meant that I could shower and wash my hair and it just meant I had a lot more free time on the evening but I can't do that today because my gym clothes were still in the wash. So they're getting washed now so I can go for a run this evening and wash my hair later on. Um, I've not put any makeup on because I've had a bit of a breakout which is annoying um but yeah so feel a bit of a mess i've got my f1 top on because it's f1 day and mainly because it's like a loungy kind of top and obviously i'm still going to be doing a lot of cleaning so chances are i'm going to get covered in stuff i've already spilt <laughs> my cleanser and toner down me um but yeah so i'm going to head out to pets at home to get the pets some food and probably macy like a horn or something the cats have got loads of toys macy destroys hers um so she always is you know more high maintenance um but yeah i'm gonna head out home bargains is next door some debating going in but like i said i don't want to waste money and will i come out with stuff i don't need probably so we'll see <laughs> So this is everything we've got from the pet shop. This is the new food that Macy's been having the last couple of months and her skin's been really good on it, but very annoying. We couldn't get a bigger bag. So I've just got that one for now until we wait till the bigger one comes back in stock. The cat food, these are their favourite ones to have and that probably won't even last a full month. And then we've got Macy a buffalo horn, new tennis ball. She's crying at the door because she can see it all and some treats. And then two essentials from Home Bargains, deodorant and fabric conditioner. What's this? Got a man looking at that, thanks. What's that? Bye. Sit. Sit. Pa. <laughs> yeah. Hey, that's a good So food shop haul time for reference I spent £37 at Lidl and um, we do have a few bits left actually in the fridge and freezer um, but this is what I've got so starting off at this side got some lean beef steak mince to make tacos well we've got um pita breads and something else in the freezer so i might use them instead of taco shells and do it as kind of like a burrito got some roast chicken breast fillets that are already cooked for some caesar salads for monday tuesday maybe wednesday for me and james um just purely because i can't bother to cook chicken tonight but i did get some um, chicken breasts to do some heaters got some red onions three pack some passata tomato sauce which i actually find this really easy to just make pasta with and just add different ingredients instead of getting like a specific pasta sauce or pasta bake very easy and affordable I get large milk, some Wheat Bix crispy minis, chocolate chip, which are my favourite at the moment. Got some um, like rice pudding nuggets. Instead, this time, change it up a little bit. Got a iceberg lettuce because I'm going to do some Caesar salads. And I got a different type of lettuce last week and I didn't like it as much, so I got that. Some strawberries, got the fajita seasoning. I didn't know if I had anything in to season the chicken with, so I just got that anyway. Some eggs, some bananas. In my last vlog, I did a banana bread, which was amazing. And then a few nights ago, I made some banana pancakes, which I really liked. So I thought I'd get these. And obviously, they're not really ripe enough to do banana bread. But I thought I'd get them now, and then it gives them time. Um, got some mini cookies for me and some fibre up um, popcorn bars for James. Twirls, we have five each. We share these as like an evening treat. And then we also have a pack of timeouts each. So I just find these really useful to take with me to work for a little treat. Got some juice, some croutons. I thought I'd get the garlic and herb ones this time because they didn't have these last. Um, so they're for the Caesar salad. Chocolate chips are for the banana bread or pancakes. Um, just got a tin of tuna, some mozzarella, beans. They're the taco 
mixed spice beans which are really good and i've tried some from morrison's actually and they were not great so definitely recommend and you can all the paint on my hand um got macy a little yogurt just for her licking mat some toilet roll and bleach and i think that's everything so yeah that's my little food shop you'll have to excuse the sound of macy playing with the toy but i wanted to show you this because i think it's hilarious um the other week when james came home from work i made a little fake menu and signed for the door and pretended that he was at a restaurant so we sat down at the table because we don't really sit at the table that much anymore like we've got into a bit of a habit of sitting um on the sofa watching tv so i made this little <laughs> menu which i've copied the name of the ratatouille restaurant at uh, disneyland paris but obviously put my name and this was um on the menu the other night i'll insert pictures because i thought it was really fun actually um but i just thought i'd show you it because i thought it was very funny i'm gonna pop up the shopping away oh my god my skin um, and then i'm gonna have a greg's because after shopping i realized i didn't actually buy anything to have for lunch today and yeah it's kind of like a little shopping treat because i only spent 37 pound my budget's 50 i did get a few bits yesterday from farm foods and today from home bargains so I felt I had a little bit left in the budget to get us a little Greg's and I got a jammy heart biscuit. James has a peach melba. That is absolutely not my kind of thing. I like the jammy heart biscuits and they're like novelty buns, which are like the kid cakes. Whereas James likes peach melbas, vanilla slices, eclairs. I don't really like anything with creamy stuff in. Um, so yeah, we're going to sit and enjoy that after I've put the shopping away. Okay, drawers are done. They're a bit grubby because I used to have all my makeup in. I've got James's like beardy stuff, don't have a clue. Lots of sprays, deodorant. And then this is the travel drawer. So I've got like my little um, card wallet, the jewellery organiser, little bag, even the mini guess who. <laughs> and just lots of mini products and travel adapters. So this is just going to be so useful. Like we're not actually going away till the end of September now um but yeah when i was going to disney and then ibiza and then i had a mystery trip and then i went to krakow and just trying to find things like my little mini toothbrush and stuff it was just a bit chaotic so nice and organized i just wanted to quickly show you these two prints that i have i have shown them in a previous vlog and my recent haul but they are from Desenio and i absolutely love them as you can tell i got them for the bedroom because they match our color scheme really well like this one is perfect like the perfect color scheme and then this one i just couldn't resist i thought it was really funny really cute james likes monkeys um and i just think it's hilarious that the monkey is wearing striped pajamas and obviously we have got blue pink and yellow as well so it goes with the bedroom so at the minute i'm thinking of just leaving them on here but eventually i want to make a gallery wall above the bed so take this down put that somewhere else and do a gallery wall but i'm thinking of waiting until i've got some more because obviously with a gallery wall you want to kind of position them randomly and have a mix of different sizes and prints so i think i'm just going to leave them there until i've got others um but yeah i'll leave my discount code below for the brand because i am an affiliate for them um i actually got two prints downstairs which if you've watched any of my videos and you've seen me in my living room and um, they're above my sofa they are teal orange and pink i'll insert a picture or a clip um i absolutely love them and i got them when we first moved in and they literally inspired our living room uh, theme so yeah absolutely love them guys how cute does this wall look i am so impressed i'm really pleased um so it's about four o'clock now and i am so tired because i've done so much the last two days like yesterday the only time i sat down was to eat um, and as I said this morning, I was really feeling it today. So I've got quite a lot done. I finished sorting the drawers, the bathrooms all back to normal. Like everything's back in its place. I've decluttered lots of stuff. I've got a whole bin bag full of just stuff. And yeah, I'm really impressed. I really want to just declutter as much as possible this year. Like I just want to get rid of all the unnecessary stuff. I just don't have the space. I do not have the time for it. And I just think the less clutter, the easier it's going to be to clean, the more manageable it's going to be to keep on top of the housework. But anyway, my mum normally does a Sunday dinner on a Sunday. She's not doing it today. And I didn't take that into consideration when I did the food shop. Um, I do have meals to cook. Like I've got four or five meals that I could make 
but the plan was to make them Monday to Friday. So James has went out to get us a McDonald's, um, which isn't great considering we had a Greg's for dinner. I'm gonna let myself off. And another thing, um, I've actually decided I'm not gonna go for a run tonight. Jess already went for hers this morning anyways. And you know, I do feel so much better after a run. Like I feel like it's really worth it and I feel really good afterwards, but I just don't want to go. I just want to have a chilled, relaxing evening. I've got work tomorrow. I know it's only for one day and I'm off again, but I'm just bloody tired. And I actually said to James this morning when we were in bed, like, I just wish I could have a day in bed. Like, I wish I could just spend a full day in bed, not asleep, just doing what I want to do, watching movies, eating food, like scrolling on my phone, like nothing important, you know, but just resting, unwinding, relaxing. So I think for a couple of hours, like I've still got a few things I want to do later on, but I think for a couple of hours, I'm going to have the McDonald's, I'm going to sit in bed, I'm going to go on my laptop and I've got so many like TikTok videos and stuff to draft and put together and, and what else and blog posts that I really want to write from Disneyland and crack off like lots and lots of things that I want to do uh, for my social media so I thought why not sit in bed I can listen to music or watch a YouTube video do my little kind of creator admin bits and just have a relaxing few hours while James watches the football. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I honestly think doing this little feature on the wall has just made me so happy to be in here. Like, I think the colour scheme in this bedroom, it's not everyone's cup of tea. Like, even James was a bit like, <laughs> when I first mentioned it. Um, But I love it and it just feels so cosy and so me. Like, it was similar colours I had um in my bedroom at home at my mum's well all the walls were white but I had like bits of blue and yellow and pink and yeah it just it feels really nice and cozy I really don't spend a lot of time in my bedroom like I'm only in here to sleep or to get changed to put clothes away like I don't nap I'm not a napper unless I'm really ill and even watching stuff on my laptop like I prefer to watch tv downstairs in the living room I don't use this space as much as I probably should especially to rest even when I'm not sleeping now I've got my cute little wall set up and you know the room's just coming together and feeling so much more me and more cozy I hope that I just take advantage and make more use of this space I really need to finish this book I have had it for months like since April it's now nearly July Um, I've heard really great things about it I am a few chapters in and I really enjoy the story it genuinely is a book where I want to turn the page but I'm just not a big reader like when I have free time there's so many things that I could do and you know I don't as I said I don't rest as much as I should like I can't really sit still and for me I do struggle to read even if it is a good story and um, but I'm really adamant to get through this book and I've got a couple of others um that I've reserved from the library as well that I want to go on to next to read at least a few chapters of this today so that'll be another thing that I can do whilst sitting in my bedroom this afternoon okay James is just pulling off now with the food and I thought I quickly have to tell you this story of what happened a couple of weeks ago. So James went to get us a McDonald's and when he was like collecting his food at the window, um, he got a call from work so he was distracted. And when he got home, he had no food. He only had the drinks and he had to go back. Um, and just every time we get a McDonald's, there's an issue. So let's see if we've actually got everything. And I'm really particular about sauce. I always have to have sweet curry sauce. So let's see if he remembered it. felt so nice to just sit on the bed on my laptop I have nearly finished paints on my hair I'm out of breath from running upstairs I've nearly finished my second Disneyland Paris blog post I've also created a reel and done a voiceover for it also 
James is watching the football. England have been doing really bad and he made a TikTok video which has already got over 4,000 views. Is my boyfriend going viral after one, one TikTok? <laughs> and I've been doing this for almost five years and I've barely gone viral. <laughs> Anyway, I am about to go in the shower because obviously it's hair wash day and because I'm not going for a run. I'm going to go in the shower now and just have a nice MOT, everything shower, full pamper. I'm thinking I might do a face mask when I get out. We got McFlurries from McDonald's, which are in the freezer and I forgot about those. So I can't wait to have that and probably just sit and chill and finish my blog post, to be honest. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go in the shower. It is now Tuesday and I am so glad for another day off because I think I overdid it a little bit at the weekend and then I had a busy day at work yesterday. Um, I had a nice evening last night though. James was on night so I took Macy for a walk and we'd had um, fajitas for tea which was really nice. And then I watched Brogan's last Disneyland Paris vlog and then read some of my book in bed. So this morning I've had a nice slow morning. Um, I actually managed to have a lie in which was pretty good. I think I woke up at night. Um, so I had breakfast, I again read a little bit of my book, I put some little eye masks on which was really, really nice and like really refreshing um, and then I've just got ready because I'm heading out to get my nails done and honestly like they need it. I've chipped them, I've like broke a few, um, see so yeah, I can't wait to get them done. I don't know what colour to go for though because I've loved the pink. I had green, which pretty much matched my top perfectly last month and was obsessed with it. But I don't have to go for something different, so we'll see. And I'm gonna call today a Chloe day. It's my day to just do what I want. James is in bed 
probably till 3, 4 p.m. He then goes on his night shift uh, just before seven. Um, so we'll have that time together at least, which will be nice to uh, sit down and watch something and have tea. I do have a bit of housework that I want to do, but I don't want to push myself too much and regret it because I'm then in work Wednesday to Saturday off Sunday and then working Monday to Friday so I'm going to be on my long week that week um so yeah just going to take it one hour at a time basically just see what I get up to but after my nails I am meeting my mum and grandma in town so that'll be nice to have a little walk around we'll probably go to a cafe and just have a look in some shops so I'll take you along with me and let's get on with the day oh and I'm about to go and walk Macy before we go out as well <laughs> Okay, so just got home. These are my new nails. I went for blue this time. They've got like a pearlescent layer on them as well. So really, really pretty in the sun. But I went for blue and I also got them done a little bit thicker just because I feel like they last longer. Anyway, I'm going to do a little haul, but it's not very exciting. James has joined me for the haul. Can't be more than 12 minutes on. Why? <laughs> oh yeah. Somebody commented on my... Krakow vlog saying that we chatted too much. Anyway, um, so I've got you these, James. What time are Just some like chocolate weird things. This? Yeah, just for your night shift. You're welcome. Don't say I don't get you anything. You don't get me anything. Now this haul is thrilling. Like so many exciting things. We have a soap tray for the bathroom. It costs 50 pence. Okay. Because I've got a wooden tray it sits on at the minute, but it's getting a bit, getting a bit grubby, so little 50 pence tray which isn't focusing your it's because your head's there goodbye there we go um and then i've got this little pack of three storage trays for a pound and they're like beige because i'm going to sort out i'm going to sort out the drawers in my office so i thought that would be good for like hair bubbles and things then got us one of these each james um they are chocolate dips white chocolate have you had these before i used to have these all the, the time when ones. i was little yeah well i thought i'd get the white chocolate ones just as a little treat oh and i also got you a pie Ooh. thank you you're welcome I'll go and you what in the big bag. what's in the big bag you may ask I wish your face was on camera right it now. Shell? It's like this. Shell? Yeah, it is. Oh, so you walk away when you know it's a shell. <laughs> it's our bedroom. You should be interested. God. I feel like I'm doing pasta pasta with so many layers. Come and look at it, though. Oh, babe, that looks amazing. You can't see. I can't. It's, it's like a thingy one. Got my little shelf for the bedroom. Isn't that going to look so cute though? Very. On my newly painted blush pink arch. Mm -hmm. And it's really light as well, so that's no good. Games in that room. Very nice. I'm Impre impressed with that. It's £15. But I actually, James, I saw one last year, a circular one, similar, and I loved it and I didn't buy it, which I regret. But I'm sure that was like £40, £50. So this is a bargain, really. Cool. So this is where the shelf is going to go. And I just think it's the perfect size so that you can still appreciate the arch. But yeah, and I'll pop some little trinkets and bits on. I don't think I'm going to put it on just yet, but I think it's going to look very cute. I think I've got Tuesday scaries. I am dreading having this really long week at work 
and I'm honestly so tired. Jess messaged me saying that she's going to go for a run tomorrow instead of tonight. And part of me was actually looking forward to going for a run, but the other part of me is like, thank God. <laughs> the same with on Sunday, how I didn't go for a run then. Like, just having the extra time because I'm usually out for like up to an hour, um, like running, um, maybe like 45 minutes. And then obviously when I come home, I then need to shower. And yeah, it does take up a chunk of time, which I could be using to do something else. But equally, I do think like running has been like really good for me physically and mentally. So I'm going to go for a run Wednesday, Friday instead this week, instead of Tuesday, Thursday. Um, so me and James have been watching House of the Dragon. He's now watching the football and I've come upstairs to do a little bit of organising. I've brought these little um, trays up and I'm just going to clean the office because with me having now pretty much the whole evening to myself, um, once James goes to work, I want to possibly sit here and do some content stuff because I feel like I'm just really struggling to focus and I've got a list of things that I really want to get done. So I'm thinking if I clean the office, then I'll want to sit in it. A bit like with the bedroom, how I said, now that I've like done this little room makeover, like I actually really enjoy just like laying in bed and just appreciating the bedroom a bit more. So I think, yeah, I'm going to tackle the office because when I clean any other room in the house, other areas of the house get more messy because obviously whilst I was cleaning the bedroom and the bathroom, I was finding lots of stuff that either I didn't know where to put and they just got chucked in the office or like random beauty bits and just like accessories and hair bubbles and whatever else that actually does belong in the office. So yeah, I'll show you what it looks like actually because it is horrendous, but <sighs> yeah, let's do this. I've got barely any skincare on this tray because um, I decluttered it the other week um, and only put stuff on that I'm actually using like my toner and the things that I use this morning for my skincare. Um, but I really want to get another I don't know if it's going to focus it's really cute actually i love it it's off either team or sheen they both do it and i really want another one but for makeup but i can't find one that i like um so yeah i'm gonna have a look because i've currently got i also got this bag from premark which i think is so bloody cute i just love a fruit uh print and obviously it's got the cherries on and look at that how sweet is that um and again i've just put that on my little shelf with the makeup that i'm using every day so that in this area it's just my everyday skincare makeup so i know when i'm getting ready on the morning i can come in here i know where everything is um and i got this um from premark the other week and obviously like i said i'm trying not to buy things unless i really need it and all of my makeup bags are material ones and what i noticed when i went to krakow was that they were all really dirty inside like really grubby i mean you could probably wash them couldn't you but i just saw this in primark and thought Do you know what that'll actually be really useful for when i go away and just to keep stuff in as well so i'm just going to keep my makeup in here until i manage to find a tray but the main issue is probably the drawers over there because like when i got them i had such a good vision for them and yeah they've become a bit of a dumping ground so let's tackle the office I made myself a cup of tea and i'm just gonna spend 20 to 30 minutes in here cleaning and then i'm gonna go downstairs and make us some tea so again just being completely transparent like all of this stuff was mainly in the bathroom or the bedroom these are the drawers that i got and had such a good idea for them I've just stuffed things in here but I wanted um so the first one when you lift it up there's a mirror and um like a fabric kind of layer so that you can put jewelry in there um the other two were going to be for like scrunchies hair clips like accessories and then I was going to have some for handbags um one of them I think it might be this one I don't want to open it too much oh, actually there's there's yeah just random stuff on top but it's got loads of letters bills like you know lots of like random but important documents and i do have a file somewhere it might even be in there with stuff like that in so i need to go through this and actually like file everything if that makes sense um and i've got another file down there as well um and then i've got one for like props um for blogging i mean ignore that but like my little tripod and my materials this is like disneyland paris stuff and a tiara like honestly <laughs> um and then handbag so <laughs> it was a good purchase in my eyes but i've not actually 
used it or organized it properly desk absolute mess this other desk um i find it really useful like especially when i'm doing content um it's got all my beads and stuff in this drawer and i kind of push it to the side when i'm not using it but to be honest i do think like this room is just too cluttered like i've got all of this over here and then two desks and this so i think what i need to do is get rid of that desk put it somewhere else so that when I'm not sat at the desk I can put the chair there so it just gives me more open space because as I said I stand here on a morning and get ready um I mean this isn't too bad I've got a bunch of empty products there that I need to go through the tops get really cluttered like I need to refill my little thing with those in it's on the windowsill there um and then yeah <laughs> all of this is a mess as well like I cleaned and organized those two shelves the other week but the rest is a mess so we're just going to tackle what we can I mean even this I don't even know what it is um going to tackle what we can um and just make it a nice clean space and obviously a lot of the organization I'm not going to have the time to do today but at least I'll be able to sit at my desk and get stuff done and then on my next day off or just whenever I have the free time I can tackle this and this is mainly what I've got these for actually so I might do a couple of drawers today if I've got time um because I might do a little bit have tea and come back but I thought they can sit in there as long as they fit actually for hair clips and scrunchies because at the minute like things just go everywhere I mean <laughs> oh no Look at all those, they're croc charms. Yeah, I really, really need to get this sorted. Okay, so this is the progress. It's definitely looking a lot cleaner and tidier. I can at least sit at my desk now to do the content stuff that I wanted to do. Um, I've not got round to sorting these drawers out. Obviously, I've cleared the space. This drawer is absolutely rammed. But as I said, I do need to take out everything and really sort it and organise it. The same with these over here. So these ones are obviously fine. The bottom two are actually like excess makeup and skincare. So I need to go through those at some point. But these ones, everything needs to come out and have a good declutter and clean. I've still got my empties I need to sort out as well. Um, But yeah, that'll be another day, I think. The same with moving this desk because I've got stuff under here. Like I've got so much stuff to sort out. So I think what I'll do is either... Every night I've got a little bit of free time. I might, you know, take out one bag or one box and sort that out or do like one drawer. Um, or one day when I've got a lot of time, I'll sit down and do everything. But I've reached my limit now. I'm getting quite tired. Um, I also really need to sort this desk out. I absolutely love it, but there's just bits stuck to it everywhere from when I've used stickers. Like this is when I was using some sticky tape um for a scrapbook and i like cut off little pieces and i put it all along there and it's all got stuck which is annoying uh, but yeah i think i'm just gonna leave it like that for now i'm gonna put them on there because that's for those when i have the time but i'm glad that it's at least clean enough for me to sit down i've also got this massive bag of stuff that literally was like in here so again I need to sort this out and anything in here and those that i don't want i'm going to give like i said to my friend uh, christy or my sister jess because like 99 percent of it's already been opened there's some stuff in there as well um so i need to sort through those doors i just want to film a tiktok and then they can all go in the bin or the recycling so yeah lots to still do but i'm actually really really proud of what i've managed to get done over the weekend and today Okay, so it's just about to turn 8pm. I've walked Macy and then got home, cleaned my face and got my um, freshly washed cat nighty on. Um, I've had such a big breakout, like I don't know what's going on. It's not good. Um, so I feel nice and like fresh and relaxed and ready to unwind for the evening. I've had such the busiest few days. I equally feel like I've accomplished something though because, you know, decorating those two spots in the house. I've had the paint sat at the bottom of the stairs for 
weeks if not even months maybe um and also i have just been on such a decluttering mission this year because we've only had this house four years but things pile up and it gets messy um so i'm really proud at how much i've managed to do there's still a lot to do there's a long way to go but yeah i'm pleased with what i've got done um so last few things for the evening before i'm back at work tomorrow um i've brought my laptop upstairs because i'm going to edit some thumbnails maybe edit some photos on my phone and videos i'm also realizing how long this vlog is gonna be it's a big one a chat you on it's a bit chaotic but you know that's just my life it's realistic um and i'm doubting whether there's anyone actually still watching at this point um speaking of youtube i have recently passed 1500 subscribers which i am really pleased with uh, monetized on youtube you have to have 3000 um watched hours within 365 days years ago i was doing a lot of body shop videos and i nearly reached it uh, so it's a bit of a shame really but in that, i have been able to commit to a weekly upload i think pretty much since the start of the year i mean i think i had a few weeks off but also at the start of the year i was posting like twice a week so it kind of like evens it out so i'm really happy that i've managed to be consistent and just posting regularly so at like 2100 out of the 3000 whether or not i'll reach it within this year who knows because obviously it does go based on 365 days but you know if i had a few videos that did really well um last year then it gets to a point where they're cut off and not counted towards it which again is a shame because you know um being a small creator on youtube and any platform really um it's rare that i get a video that does well um as i said i'm hoping that posting regularly this year and also having some like nice travel vlogs like my disney vlogs the crack off vlogs we're going to spain um in october and then next year we've got some nice plans as well we might be going to disneyland paris again i don't know if i've mentioned it in this vlog um i was looking at booking um to be honest we can't really afford to book it right now so i'm going to just save the money up so decided that actually i'm going to wait until i know for sure when the like refurbished park is going to be open because they're doing some works it did in paris at the moment uh, i would love to go back it'd be amazing regardless but if we could go back when there's new attractions new restaurants and you know just different things to explore as opposed to when we went in january then that would be a bonus a few things so firstly when i was out i went and got some cash out i think i got like 550 pound um, out in cash because I'm gonna pop it in my little budget binder so funny enough the other week in a vlog I said that me and James were doing a lot better financially and we had money to treat ourselves and whilst we still have money to live comfortably ish and treat ourselves and you know um eat and afford and afford the mortgage and heating and gas and water and all of that stuff because you have a trip coming up in september um we're very fortunate we don't have to pay for the accommodation because james's family have a timeshare but we do need to pay for our flights which is like 250 pound each and then i've worked out how much spending money we're going to need and i'm going to say about 500 pound between us um because it's self-catering and we have a few like activities planned so um yeah we need a thousand pound by then so save 250 pound every month until then so um the payday just gone and july's payday and um, that 500 pound um in total will go to the flight and then the august and september pays will go to the spending money that we're paying 88 pound i think a month for our cruise next year um and obviously we've just got the fence done in the garden we've got quite a few things done recently so money wise we're gonna have to budget again extra money that i get will be going towards disney like it will be saved towards disneyland paris i've applied for quite a lot of like ugc opportunities recently so I'm hoping that i get some good opportunities because i was really lucky at the start of the year and the money that i earned through that actually paid for our crack of um, flights and accommodation so also talking about youtube again um if i did start to earn money from youtube it'd be amazing but i'm aware that it'd be such a small amount being a small creator who as i said doesn't get like a massive amount of views and i currently pay about four 
14 pound a month for pick monkey which is the website that i use to create my thumbnails for youtube i could use canva and make free ones but i'm really specific like i use canva for years and years and years especially when i was doing the body shop and i loved it but there was just little things that I preferred um, about Pick Monkey that I could do. So even if I do earn money on YouTube, I need to earn over £15 a month to actually <laughs> benefit from it because I'm already paying that out. And I've just signed up to a captions app as well, which is again about £10 a month. And I think it's worth it because I think it's important to add captions to videos if you can. And I really want to start, I know on YouTube you can like turn them on, but on um, TikTok and Instagram, I think I'm going to start including them. So I'm just paying for that as well. So yeah, got a lot of stuff going on. So as I said, sorry to ramble so much, but earlier when James was joking, someone commented on one of our Krakow travel vlogs and said, torn down on the chit chat, which to be honest, I don't, you know, I think it's constructive criticism. Like... I genuinely accept that as feedback but I'm such a chatty person like I just cannot stop talking anyway so yeah I'm gonna take the money out of here and stuff my little cash envelopes I have got um stickers on from the last time I did it for like nails meds pets whatever I've already bought most of the pet food and I've already got my nails done so um, I might need to change some of those stickers but I'm going to cash stuff the envelopes Um, I've probably got more cash I could take out but I thought I didn't know how much you could actually take out of a cash point and the last thing I'm going to do is open a parcel with you Um, it's technically a PR parcel but also not at the same time so one of the girls that I follow on Instagram who's also a creator I love her content she has um kind of like a beauty Instagram and then also a book one um and yeah I just think she's really lovely I love her content she's very like authentic and down to earth as well recently received a bioma um like PR package and the cleanser just didn't agree with her skin and which is obviously such a shame and I was talking about the toner that I love which is here um and I said that the cleanser was on my list to try as well so I was hoping it was okay for my skin I said she would send me it which is really nice of her so she showed me some other extra PR products um that she had that like weren't suitable or whatever and asked if I wanted some so I picked a few I mean do I need more stuff? No, um, but at least it means it's not going to waste because obviously once you open things, like I said before, you can't give them to charity or anything. So at least it's not going to waste. And these are products that I genuinely did either like or want to try. Oh my God, she's packaged them so well. She's literally put bubble wrap around everything. Thanks, Hannah. So yeah, this is the Bioma cleanser. It's the Milky Moisturate cleanser. So um, so the toner that I have is the Milky one. So I'm really hoping that this will be suitable for my skin type um, because I have started to really, really love the brand Bioma. We've also got a Lumen Nordic Sea Glow Moisturiser. Now this is a product I've already had. I absolutely love Lumen and I really rate the Nordic Sea range. Um, so I knew that I would love this. That's going to go in my stash for when I run out of my current moisturisers. Because as I said, I am quite fortunate. Like I do get some quite a lot of stuff. But I have recently really reined it in and, and started to reject a lot of PR. Because I mentioned this obviously um, previously. But you know, I don't get paid for it. And... Um, I don't need that much stuff so this kind of way of getting PR I think is actually quite a nice way um, we've also got a NYX fat oil lip drip and um, this is in the shade news feed so it's kind of like a red tone I already have one but the shade of it's more like autumnal because it's like a not brown but it's more like a nude with like a gold shimmer Oh, they smell amazing as well so yeah looking forward to giving that a go we've got an eye cream from tropic which is a brand i've not tried but i've heard really good things about them a lot of um people that did the body shop home has moved on to selling tropic so this is the firming overnight butter balm um for your eyes yeah i'm looking forward to um giving this a go because my current eye cream which is here the obscure one i've been using is like 
pretty much run out like it's not even coming out when i do that so um i did need an eye cream and i don't have any in my stash so again made sense to accept it and then two more things we've got another tropic product which is the smoothing cleanser so it's a complexion purifier and it has jojoba um, and macadamia oil so i thought i'd give this a go because i tried some jojoba products last year and really really loved them the cleanser isn't completely empty but i have put it in my empties tray to retire it because i think it's been open too long i've got makeup that i've had for years but i think with skincare especially a cleanser i don't know so i thought i would um give that one a go as well and the last one is another lumen product as i said i really do rate lumen and it is the color correction cream in fair it's spf 20 so i thought i'd give this a go because i've not really wore foundation in a very long time now like i'm all about like skin tints my like elf glow liquid primer thing so yeah gonna give that a go and i've not tried this before I've tried a lot of Lumen products because I got an advent calendar of theirs um, a few years ago. So I'm really looking forward to trying those products. I just thought I'd quickly share them with you. I've also recently received my newest Dermatica um, in the post, which is a personalised formula skincare brand. I'll keep you updated on that. So I think I'm going to end this vlog here. As I said, it's been a long one. It's been a chatty one. So if you have watched until now, please, please, please do let me know in the comments because um, I don't think anyone's watching now. I will see you in my next video. I don't know when. I don't know what it will be um, because obviously I'm going to be on my long week now. I'll only have Sunday off. I'm not going to vlog. Um, I think my next video actually might be a HelloFresh review because... I have signed back up to them. Brogan Tate had an amazing like offer, like discount. Um, I might have one by the time this is up because I have um, applied to be an affiliate for them because I really did rate the brand when I tried it before and I'm looking forward to trying it again. So if I do have one, I will leave that below. Um, but that might be my next video because I'll be receiving my box on Sunday, which I think is the 7th of July. I've picked three meals, which are meals that I've never tried before and not really meals that I would even pick really to make myself so i'm looking forward to it because i think it'll be a bit different and um, but as i said thank you so much for watching i will see you in my next video and let me know in the comments if you've watched this far mm -hmm.